Hey guys, it's Emily, and today I will be showing you how to make my penguin charm. I do know, yes, there are a lot of other designs for penguins out there, and so I decided to come up with, decided to try to come up with my own. And this is what I came up with, and I've never seen one out there that looked like this one. So um, I'm going to show you. I'm going to call it original. But yes, there are other penguin designs out there. So um, I just wanted to take my turn on, um, my turn on. Um, <coughs> sorry, a penguin. Oh, sorry there. So let's get started. The colors you will need for him are you will need black, white, orange for his feet, yellow for his beak, or if you just want to use um, yellow for the feet or for the beak, or just whatever you want for the beak and the feet. And then you'll need two of the color that you want for his eyes. And I'm using these um, dotted bands for his eyes because I think they look really cool. And um, just because I just think it looks cool, but you can use... Um, just a regular shade of blue, or you can use black, it doesn't matter. So, first, let's make one of his feet. So, you'll need your orange or yellow for this. And, oh, you will need a hook, and you'll need a loom. Any type of loom, because it will be in the staggered configuration. So, first, we're going to take a single orange. We are going to double it and go down anywhere on your loom. Now take another orange, double it, and go down anywhere on your loom. And again, take an orange, double it, and go down anywhere on your loom. So you should have three um, bands that are doubled anywhere on the loom. Then we'll take a single band and cap each of those off four times. And this is still orange. The whole foot we're using orange. Okay, I'm going to turn this around. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so you should have this so far. And all you're going to do is just loop up. And if I'm going too fast for you, just pause the video. Okay. So you should have teardrops on all of those. So then we are going to, before we take these off, we are going to take a, double, a rubber band, double it again anywhere on your loom, and another rubber band doubled again. like this. Now we are I'm using my crochet hook for this so we're gonna take these are his toes right here so we're just going to place them on these this peg where it ends and those are his little feet and we're gonna go back here take another one off place it on the same peg like that and now the last one, place it on the same peg and push it down like this. So those are his feet. And now we are going to go in all of these rubber bands and get the bottom doubled band and loop up. And now loop the last one up. Then Take your crochet hook, or whatever your holding hook will be, and take it off of the loom, and it should look like this. You can fix the toes later when we're um, adjusting it more. So that is his feet. So you'll need to pause your video and make one more foot, because I have done that already. You can also do it on the hook if you don't like doing it on the loom, but since I already did another one I'm not going to show you how to do it on the hook so I'm just going to start on the arms now so I haven't done any before the video so I'm going to make both with you so with double bands this time we are going to go down anywhere on the limb and we are going to go down one two three four times so these are your black bands for his little flippers or wings or whatever you want to call his or arms whatever 
You, you know what I'm talking about, guys. So that's three. And this is four. Now on the other side, do the same thing. One. Two. Three. And four. So those are his arms. And now we are going to cap each of those off only three times. So you should have three loops there. And this is the easy part. You're just going to loop up like a normal single bracelet. So again, if I'm going too fast for you, please just pause the video. Because this, my videos are more for faster paced loomers because they're more advanced to do. So just keeping that out there. So those are his arms. And take your holding hook and take off his arms. These are his arms, so those are the black bands, so now you can set that aside on your holding hook. Now we are going to make his beak, and we're doing this on the loom too. So take your yellow bands, and we're going to take a single band, double, go down, another single band, double and go down. And then I'm going to cap it off four times, so two, three, four. So those are, that's his beak and you're just going to loop up. Like that. And then we are going to take a single rubber band and just pull it up. Don't make the, a slip knot though. And take it off. And that is his beak. And I'm going to fix that um, little sticking out a little. But that is fine. We can all fix all that later. And again, put the beak. Uh, it's not going to fall off of there. So we don't really have to put it on the holding hook. It's up to you. But if you feel like it's going to fall off, just put it on a holding hook. So, now we can begin actually making the penguin. So first we're going to take double bands and go down in the center. And those are the slipknot bands. So now, we are going to take two bands, go from here to here, and these are your black bands. And then go out to the right. Then we are going to go down once on each side. That's black, remember? And then go once in the middle. Now with our white bands, we are going to go down on each side again. And then once in the middle. Then we're going to turn in on the head. We're going to go into the center, and then go in on the center again, on the other side, and then just go down in the center. And push this chin peg down, because that will be the chin peg, because the penguin, he's not going to have a neck. But if you want to add a neck, you can. I just, I don't like how the neck turns out. So, um, now we're going to start with the body. So with black bands, we are going to go down, we're going to go to the side, black bands, and we are going to go to the side again, and then with um, black again, we're going to go down right here, and making sure you use the right color, and yes I did. So now we are going to go down four times with our black. So, on each side. So once, twice, three times, and four times. So now we are going to go to the center, like that. 
Now we're going to go down four times with black on the other side. So remember you're using double bands this entire project, except when we did the feet and the beak. And these are your black bands that we'll be switching to white in a second. So again, when we get to here, we're going to go to the center. And now in the middle, we are going to go down with white four times. And that just gives his chest a little, little um, like color to it. And you're using double bands again. Okay. Now we can start adding some body parts. First, we're going to add his arms onto these two pegs, like this. So the arm, one arm goes on that side, and I'm sorry if my hand's in the way, but the other arm will go on the very opposite side. So those are his little arms or flippers or whatever you're going to call it. And we're going to add the beak onto these two pegs. And this beak is really messy, but it'll we can fix it in the end. So now we're going to do his eyes and take the two bands you're using for your eyes. And you're going to cap them over the that peg, these two pegs, four times. So once, twice, three times, four times. Push it down. Now on the other side, you're going to do once, twice, three times. Oh, just lost track of that. I'm going to redo it. The different band. Once, twice, three times, four times. There we go. And then we're going to take a single band that's white and make a triangle over that, like this. Then we're going to just loop those bands right over. So if you've seen my other animals, you, you know what I do for the eyes. Like that. So now we can add the cap holding bands down here. So we're going to take single bands, make a triangle, another single band, make a triangle, another single band, make a triangle. And then we're going to take another single band and we're going to cap off the bottom only three times. Yes, I think it's three. Yeah, three. I just have to use my example. And then, now we can begin looping. And don't worry, we'll add his feet. So first we're going to go into the cap band to get those um, top two white bands that should be there. And I'll keep grabbing the wrong band color. Okay, hold on guys, I'm going to fix this. There's a wrong band. Okay, there. And I'm just going to recap that. Okay, so excuse my mistake there. So we're going to go in and get the top two white and loop up. So just loop up the center and you should be seeing teardrops and just loop all the way up and stop there and this beak is driving me nuts. Okay so this is where we're going to be adding the feet so we're going to go in get the top two black loop it to the right and the next two will be going to your left before you go on we are now going to be adding the feet so put the feet onto your hook if you took them off so we're actually just going to take all four of those bands off like that and then pull the feet on and then put all four bands back on that peg so that is what we're going to do for the other side also. And I'm just going to use my crochet hook. So I'm going to go in. Grab, I'm going to turn my limb around for this. Grab all four and pull the foot on to that band like this. I'm going to put all four rubber bands back on the peg. So as you can see, it's attached like that. So now we can 
loop up the left. We're going to get the bottom two loop up, bottom two loop up, bottom two loop up, and stop at the shoulder right here. Do the same on the other side. We're going to go in and get the bottom two and loop up, bottom two and loop up, and again, stop at that shoulder peck. So this is his body and when we get to here we're going to get those bottom two black bands loop them to the chin peg and the next bottom two loop them to the chin peg and I just got one so now I got the other and stay on the peg please thank you rubber band okay so now this is the tricky part on the chin peg we're going to go in and we're going to get those top two rubber bands. So what I do is I grab those two, I go in, and I get those two and loop up, and go over the nose or the beak, pull it through. Then you can finish looping up the center, like that. Now we'll get the next two. Oh, I just put my camera, guys. Sorry. Go in. Get those top two. Loop up. And now get the last two and loop up as well. So first we'll loop up this side. Loop up those white bands and now the black. And when we get to here, go to the center. Now on this side, We'll be getting those bottom two white again. Now the black. And then bring those black to the center. And now we've looped up and finished our penguin. So now we are going to go into this peg, get the slip knot bands and loop up. And instead of going in, you're going to take those bottom two and loop them over the top two and then pull it in tight and then we can take him off of the loom so I'm just using the back of my crochet hook because it just it, it helps really well so um, do not yank him off because that would really sink if he broke this far along because you're literally just taking him off the loom now and Depending on what I should do there. Okay, so now we have him off of the loom. So I'm going to fix his beak. You can pull out his beak. And his beak is driving me nuts. It's like not even. Okay, there we go. But if you don't like how big the beak is, you can just pull it back in. But I kind of like the long beak. But push it back in if you don't like how long it is. So, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial on how to make my penguin charm. And to hide the slip knot, just go in the back and hide those two rubber bands at the top and pull them through the back. Pull his eyes out for you and then pull the beak out. And then pull his feet, adjust his feet a little. Pull out his arms. And now you have your penguin little charm. And I hope you like this tutorial because I love how awesome this cute little penguin is. And he was really easy to design because uh, these animal um, figures are getting really simple for me. And I just really love how this one turned out. So thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial, and check out other animals on my channel, like my tiger figurine, and my fox, and I have another one, let me think of the name of it, oh, forgot the name of it, oh, my monkey, duh, can't forget the monkey, oh, I actually don't have him with me right now, here he is, okay, here is my monkey. 
So go check out those tutorials. And I will be having this lion coming up. And he has this huge man in the back, and he's really cool. So um, next weekend I'll be posting the lion because I really don't have time this weekend. So anyway, so that tutorial will be coming soon. And I have a new bracelet coming up called the crossover bracelet that will be coming to my channel soon and I have some cute little owl figures coming very soon and this one looks like a penguin because of the color combo I use but it's I can assure you they're supposed to be owls so I have that coming up and I have a zebra tutorial coming up as well so as you can see, I have so many designs to be showing you guys how to make. I just do not have enough time to be filming the video. But I will be having a tutorial coming up soon for all of these animals. And, well, I, some of them I already have tutorials on, but you know what I'm saying, guys. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching my penguin tutorial. I hope you like him. And please comment down below what animals you want to see because I love making my animal charms they turn out really cool like I love the how the lion turned out and the fox and the monkey and the tiger and tiger's probably my favorite one so um uh thanks guys so much for watching it means a lot and I'm almost to 13,000 subscribers I probably will get there by tomorrow so um thanks guys for watching Comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already, and give this video a thumbs up if you want to see more animal figurines and charms. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe, and please comment down below what animals you want to see on my channel. Thanks, guys, and happy looming!